Hey everybody, this is Captain Obvious, and welcome back to another Redstone tutorial. Uh, I'm going to use that term loosely today. I know a lot of you guys don't like when I call it Redstone when there's only hoppers, but it's it's going under Redstone, guys, sorry. But anyway, what I have for you today are uh, the Cactus Towers. Now, they are a working farm, but as you can tell, there's only one uh, in, be in between each thing, so it's not uh, super high efficient, uh, but it looks really good. So it's going to be a usable farm, but I, I kind of built it more for the aesthetics. You know, uh, I really, really like it. So you can just have a bunch of them together if you really need a lot. Because you do have four, you know, collecting areas. But, yeah, it's not really built for the farm itself. Okay, and then you guys will be getting a tutorial on that monstrosity coming up soon. I am super proud of that. I love it. Uh, anyway, let's get into this today. So we're, we're actually going to go to another world just because it's a lot uh, cleaner. This is, I'm using as my test world now. All right, guys, so here we are in this world. Um, basically, here's what you're going to need, okay? You're going to need one piece of sand, one cactus, uh, block, just any block of your choice. Obviously, I'm just going to use quartz. Uh, you're going to need, uh, I'm trying to think how many stairs. I think it's 5, 10, 15, 20. I think it's 18, 16 to 18 stairs. This is all per row. Uh, for the bottom, only the bottom level, you're going to need uh, three, four, five, six. You need eight hoppers. Uh, you're going to need four chests. You're going to need eight of the, what I'm going to use for this is eight regular glass panes and eight lime green stain uh, glass panes. And then, oh, I'm sorry, maybe it's not eight. I think this one is 12 for lime green. And then a bucket of water, uh, preferably... Uh, four buckets of water, but uh, one bucket will do. Okay? So, actually, just take four, because you're going to need to have the water standing still for every other row. All right, so here's what you're going to do. Put down a block. Okay, right in the middle. Put down a block. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come out like this with it. Okay, make a little cross. And then put your chests just like that. Okay, and then you're going to go ahead and break those like that okay perfect now what you're gonna do is facing into each chest you're gonna put a hopper okay so they're gonna be going into each one like that and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put one hopper into each hopper so I'm just gonna start on the corner and go up so that hopper goes into that one that hopper goes into that one that way you have two hoppers per chest kinda just like that perfect okay now on top of this block in the middle you're going to put your sand and your cactus all right and then what you're going to do for the bottom over here is you're going to go upside down okay and you're going to go all the way around with it so just like this remember oops this is upside down okay just so remember that you can try a different way i just i happen to like this way so it's all about taste you can change it up how you like it okay perfect now, right on top of these stairs and above the chest, you're going to do regular stairs going all the way around as well. And now that I'm looking at it, some of my counts may have been off. You guys can kind of see how much you're going to need per row. Okay? Just like that. Cool. Uh, for the bottom, you don't have to make it standing. You could just put one in each in a corner like that and just do that. But I'm going to make it standing. Okay? Just like that. I just think it looks better. You need it for the top, but uh, just to make it even, I'm doing it like this. And I'll tell you why you need it uh, as we go up. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to put a block on top of your cactus. Okay? And you're going to go uh, just like this all the way around. Okay, so you're just going to do... This is with the clear glass, the pane. And then you're going to... Uh, well, I guess we could have just broken out. So you're going to put a block on top and then break the one underneath. And then close it back up. Okay, so that's how it's going to look. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your lime green, just like that, and go all the way around with it. Okay, whoops. We'll do like three rows, just so you guys understand how to connect, and you just do that all the way up. All right, and then what we're going to do, again, is you're just going to put sand right there, cactus right there, and we're going to start the whole process all over again okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go 
one out like this. This just helps you get your spacing and then put your bottom stairs or your regular stairs, I should say. Okay, just like that. Then you can go ahead and break those. So that's at the same level as the, um, the sand. So all of the regular stairs are always going to be in line with the actual, with the sand, okay? So then you're going to come this way, and you, again, you're just going to do the same exact thing. Okay, you're just going to do the same thing. And then we're going to go, obviously, underneath it. Oops, did I do that wrong? Yeah, I totally messed that up right here. Okay, and then underneath it, we're going to put the upside down stairs, just like so. Now, I tried it in a different, a couple different colors uh, before I settled on quartz, but a lot of them actually look pretty good. So you could just go ahead and use regular uh, stone uh, brick, and it'll look pretty good. Okay? Then what you're going to do is you're going to come right in here, and in each corner you're going to do one. This is why I said four. Two. And come on this side, and then three and four. Okay, and now it's standing. Perfect. And the reason you want it like that, okay, this bottom one is fine. It'll just fall right down. But the reason you want it um, like that up here, again, is because we're going to put our block. Okay, I actually put two blocks. Sorry, that's what I forgot to do before. Put two blocks. And you're going to go ahead and put your clear glass or your paint. Okay. Before you do the last one, make sure you break that. And then go like that. And then, the, and then let's put our, hold on, let's put our, actually, you know what? No, before we put this on, let me explain why we need the water. The higher up you go, what's going to happen is the reason we're using the panes is because it's it's the thinnest of all the things that we can use. Okay, and when it falls, it's going to fall down. The water helps it stay straight. So if it falls down here and it goes right there, it has less of a chance of, of getting stuck on that other pane or all subsequent panes if you have the standing water because it'll stop it from continuing to fall in that same motion. I've tested it out, and it just this is the best method. And now you don't even need the water; you could just go, but you get much better results with this. Okay, so just just trust me on that. Okay, and then again, we're going to do one more. So you put your sand on top. Uh, did I throw it? Yes, I did. I threw it in there. There we go. Give me that back. Okay, then we're going to put our um, cactus there. Again, we're going to do the little cross thing, and just like so. Put that on each side. Remember the regular stairs here. Oops. Okay, regular stairs just like that. Then we're going to break these. Okay, and then again, we want to just come across. Now, like I said, you can actually build this as an actual, like, kind of monument or just building in your world. And it will function as a, as a regular cactus farm. If you need more cactus, obviously build yourself a bigger farm or just build these next to each other. You can, you know, do the next one over here. You can get rid of this chest and, you know, just do a whole bunch of these. Uh, it'll, it should look really cool that way too. Okay, put a block on top just for now. Okay, and then since we're already here, instead of doing this, oh, actually, we need the upside down first. Yeah. <laughs> Remember that order. Got to put the upside down after you put the regular. There we go. Okay, now we just come in here and we do uh, water there, bucket of water there. Come to the exact opposite side and do bucket there and bucket there. Now it should be still. Perfect. Okay, and then we're going to just go ahead. And we don't need to do the top because I'm not making it bigger. You would. If you were going to do it, just make sure you put another block on top and then break this one after when you're done. Okay, and then we're going to break that. Poof. And then for the finishing touch, we're going to put the uh, lime green right like that. And you have yourself a cactus tower. All right, now, and I think it looks awesome. I really and truly do. And oh my goodness, I never put it here. Make sure you put uh, the lime green on each level. Or if you don't like it, you, you can get rid of it. I happen to really like it for, you know, for the type of form that it is. But if you don't like it, just get rid of it and just keep the glass. That's fine. But definitely do a pane here. Or you can even just get rid of the clear and do the lime green there. That would be fine. I happen to like it this way. But you can adjust it. 
All right, and there you have it, guys. There are the cactus towers. Really simple. Uh, you know, just it's just going to be a nice way to to collect a few few cactus every now and then, but also add a nice design element into your world. A very functional design. So yeah, that's going to do for me. Until next time, Captain Evers out. Peace.